course I love hanging out with you. Um, no, I'm not going to a karaoke bar because, number one, I'm not going to be around a bar. And number two, I have to pick up my daughter from daycare, I told you. Yeah, I get her like three times a week now. Isn't that crazy? That bastard of an ex-husband dragging me through court. It's so hard. I know. But you know what? The only thing that gets me through the day is her smile. She's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, well, have fun. Hello? Hello? My phone's losing battery. Okay. Okay, call me back later. Okay. Bye, hon.
One, one, sit. Thank you. Hello, hello. I'm. I don't know what we're driving. Uh, I think maybe we we might have turned right. Hello? Hello? Is somebody there? Oh, God. No, no, Mary. No. no. Grab me this serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I don't think that's gonna help. What? How can I hear you? Who are you? There's a little speaker in there that I bought from Radio Shack with my allowance. I can hear you, and you can hear me. Why? Why? What do you want from me? What do you I just want to make you comfortable. This is not comfortable. Are you crazy? Oh, it's comfortable. I change it for everybody to fit their body type. Done this before? I've dated before. Dating? You're my date for the night, sweetie. This is not a date. This is a nightmare. Oh, honey, you don't know what a nightmare is. If you don't want to have a nightmare, I suggest that you just listen to me and do what I ask. Help! 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 Nobody can hear you, or I'm taking you. Nobody can hear you. Where are you taking me? I'm taking you out to one of my favorite dating spots. I just want to know what you I'm going to do what I want to do. And what is that? Imagine everything you can imagine, and that's it. <laughs> Do you any good? Ah! Ah! Is that the best you can do? Ah! Come on again. <laughs> Good girls, listen to what they're told. 
Okay. Good girls don't play with their food. Good girls don't don't steal things from daddy, do they? No, they don't. They're good. Mm -hmm. Be nice to daddy. Okay. Daddy. Otherwise, daddy goes and puts you in the closet, doesn't he? I don't want to go in the closet, daddy. I'll be good. I promise. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you, daddy. Who's daddy? You're my daddy. I don't know what you're talking about. Why don't you tell me your name? I can call you by a name. You tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. I'm Megan. Now your turn. My name is... Yes? Mm. Come on. Come on. My name is... George. That's such a nice name, George. I hate it. I love the name George. I hate it. You shouldn't hate it. It's a good name. It's a strong name. Dorothy Parts, you better get pie. Dorothy Parts, you better get pie. <laughs> 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 When you're bad, you get punished. I am being a good girl, right, George? Right? Yeah, but you won't be. You won't be. You'll stop being good. They all do. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> to me like you're doing something. What are you doing back there? I'm not doing anything. You mess around with anything back there and I have to pull this car over, I'm gonna make you regret it. You hear me? I'm gonna make you pay. Yes. 
sing me a song. You like jazz? <laughs> what are we on a picnic? We're on a date, right? Just sing me a song. How difficult is it? Why do you have to make it? I don't a know big any deal? song. I don't understand why you can't just do it. I don't understand why everybody just can't do what I say. Why does everybody have to make everything a big deal? Why can't you just do what I say? I okay, okay, okay. Doing. You're just like the rest of them. You're me. Oh, I'll me. sing, I'll sing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You, you told me that you love me, boy. You said you wanted to fulfill my needs. I punish? Yes. Oh, you do. Oh, I don't think you do. I really. I don't think you do. I don't think you know what you're saying, bitch. I don't think you know what you're saying. So you better shut your mouth right now. Otherwise, you're gonna lose something, something that you like, a piece of you. Just take me out and punish me, Daddy. Yeah, you're gonna get punished, all right. And I'm not falling for your game. No game. I'm just playing along with you. I noticed your yellow ribbon. So, uh, are you a veteran? Maybe. It's a simple question, George. Yes or no? I heard the question, Megan. I haven't decided if I want to answer you yet or not. Do you really want to know about me? Do you really care? Or are you just like all the other ones? Because I tell you something, the other ones found out what happened when I didn't believe that they cared. I care about you, George. I care. I want you to tell me. Did you go to Iraq? They wouldn't let me go. Well, that's probably better. My husband died in Iraq. You had a husband? Yes. What happened to him? He was driving the Humvee. Down this back road. He got ambushed. Attack from all sides. He took one bullet to the brain and that was it. Man down, man down, man down. Me and Dana. Just us now. Who's Dana? My daughter. My little girl. I'll take care of you and Dana. You will? I can take care of you. I know exactly how to take care of you. Are you going to let me see my daughter? Oh, I'm sure you'll see her again. Sing me a lullaby. Sing me a lullaby now! rock a -bye, baby, on the treetop When the wind blows the Down will come Georgie, cradle and all. You're a good girl. I'm gonna take care of you. I'm, I'm gonna make you a part of me. Just like in your song.
I like to bring all of my dates. You're gonna love it. They all do. Tell me about it. Is it in the woods? Is it in a basement? No, I like nature. Just let me out. We'll, we'll, we'll do it now. We don't have to go anywhere. I haven't got my tools ready yet. What kind of tools? They're right here next to me. Existed, then how could you be in my trunk? How could you be my next number? Huh? How could you be my next date? And you found me? Found? You found me. They all find me. How did I find you? When the student is ready, the master will appear. You're not my master. Oh, oh, ho, oh, but I am. Why do you keep doing it? Quit yelling! Quit yelling! Quit yelling! Just tell me why! Shut up! What kind of women do you like, George? <clears throat> I like women like you. I love women like you. Like me how? Blonde? Caucasian? Sure. Where? Pretty. All screwed up in the head. How do you pick us? How does anybody pick a mate? The law of attraction. You're a juicy little piece. I like you. Normal people don't do it from afar. They meet you in person and then you have a connection. You have chemistry. Who decides what's normal? You want to talk philosophy with me? This doesn't feel wrong to you? No. It feels right. You believe in God. God? Where's your God now? Do you go to church? Hmm. Church is for suckers. Do you pray? Are you spiritual at all? How's that worked out for you so far, sister? I think the issue that should be of utmost importance to you, little Megan, is how you're gonna get out of that trunk without losing one of your limbs. How you're gonna get out of that trunk without being deboweled while you're alive and watching it happen. So you better shut your mouth and listen to daddy when daddy talks. I'm the one in okay. control here. You have okay. to know your place. Know your place. Know your place. Okay, stop yelling. I'm going to put you in your place. Please stop yelling. I can't even scream. Oh, no. Why 
doesn't he pop the trunk? If there's a god, why doesn't he send an angel down from heaven and rescue you? Yeah, that's what victim number 27 thought, too. <laughs> or shall I call her just 27? Use her name. I want to know her name. 27. She had a name when you liked her, when you first found her, and you started stalking her, and you started working by her so you can figure out everything about her. She had a name. What number am I? Insignificant. Everybody has a number, George. What number am I? Insignificant. <laughs> Why do you keep calling me Megan? Why don't you just call me by my number? You haven't been assigned a number yet. <laughs> All right, let's talk about something different. What do you like to do on a date? How about a little ballroom dancing? You like to dance? Yeah, I can swing, baby. Little big band? Tango is the dance of lovers. We're doing a sort of tango right now, aren't we, Megan? I like the tango. Put you in a nice dress. Some nice heels on those pretty feet of yours. Me, dressed up in my black coat and tails, top hat, white gloves. Just like Fred and Ginger. I could wear a red dress for you. I like red. I like red a lot. And red high heels. Low cut dress. Down to here. Tango is very sensual. I'm gonna take you out for a tango and feed you chocolate and red wine. I'm a very good dancer. I'm limber, I'm flexible. And, and can... milky. And yes, soft. yes, you can caress my milky soft legs and my porcelain skin. Do you like that, George? I'm gonna take you for a drive. Yes. Into the mountains, overlooking the view of the city. My city. My town. Yes. I own this place. Yes. Yes, we could go somewhere and stop and kiss passionately. <sighs> I like when you're gentle and you caress me softly. I like when you touch me. You lie. Really nice. Not, not dangerous and not rough. No. 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 But that's what I like, George. I don't care what you like. You want me to be happy, right? You want me to have a good time. Your happiness is not any of my concern. Don't you want to please me? Don't you want me to be? Please. No, 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 no! I could get aroused for you. Just, just as long as you're gentle. Not rough. Tell me what you're gonna do. If I stop this car and I let you out of that trunk, what are you gonna do? Describe what you're gonna do for me. I'm gonna slowly run my hands down your chest. Get to your belt. And undo your belt so soft and tender. And whip out your belt. And get to your zipper. And take my teeth and pull your zipper down. And I'll use my hands and my fingers to rub. Oh, so, so nice and sweet. 
Oh, it sounds so hot. Yeah, touch yourself while you do it. I am. I'm touching myself, George. She went to you. She? Does she have a name? What do you call her? Mm. Honey. Yeah, put your fingers in your pussy. I'm touching my pussy. Oh, my fingers going inside my pussy. You feel yeah, so baby. Yes. Oh. oh, I'm gonna come for you, Josh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my fingers inside my pussy. Oh, in and out is so wet. And juice flow all over your hand. Yes, it feels so good. I'm sucking your cock. Yes. Yes, I want you to put your cock inside me, George. And then, oh, it feels so good.
talking about your process. It is a process. That's right. It's a process. All these other hacks, Ramirez, Bundy, Dahmer, Ed Gein, Eileen Wuerdos, they all had their process. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't my process. Because they got careless. They got predictable. You can't leave your uh, a signature, a calling card. I have no MO. There is no process. That is my process. Sometimes I will do copycat. I will set up a scene to look exactly like Jack the Ripper. So I'll take out my knife and I'll slice a girl from her pussy to her neck. <laughs> chest cavity and pull out her guts just like young Jacques did back in London other times I just might pull it David Berkowitz and pretend that dogs are talking to me and I might just shoot someone right between the eyes but it's got to be set just right that's what throws them off the scent you see I'll go after some of my favorites, like young Jeffrey Dahmer. I'll inject you with some kind of poison to start to paralyze you. All Jeffrey wanted was a companion. All he wanted was somebody to, to, to be with him. Thought he was going to create a zombie. Instead, he gave them brain damage. And then he cut off their heads and put them in his freezer. Maybe your head will end up in a freezer, Megan. Don't put me in a freezer. No, not you, just your head. Oh. So if they do find you, they'll think, oh no, there's another, another Jeffrey Dahmer on the loose. Why? Why? Why do you want to be like them? They'll throw them off the case. The authorities will never catch me because I'm one step ahead all the time. Ted Bundy got careless. Ramirez got careless. What if you get Ed caught? Edgine got careless. What if you get caught? BTK got careless. What if you get caught? If I get caught, then there are about a dozen times ten others out there just like me. My spirit will flow into the spirit of another, and they will resume my work. But it won't be you. I thought you said you believed in spirituality, Megan. If you die, you're not on Earth anymore. You think spirituality only goes one way? You think spirits only evolve into the good people? You think only good spirits are reincarnated? Hmm, it's an interesting concept. Did someone give you the right to just walk around and kill whoever you wanted and take them? I was born to do what I do. A great violinist will play a concert at Carnegie Hall. It's numbers. It's always been about numbers. I like numbers. Number 13, that's my favorite number. Number eight, great number eight. One of my first adults. Whimpered like a stuck pig. So I jammed a ice pick through her temple. It's interesting to watch the body twitch as the brain dies and oozes out of the hole. I'm gonna be sick. Number 15, sweet, begged for her life begged me not to kill her. Please don't do this. I have a husband. I became her husband that night. Number 22. Number 22 is interesting because it's a double number. And you see, there was two people involved in number 22 because number 22 was about eight months pregnant. So I ripped that fetus out of her and beat her with it. I'm gonna throw up. Go ahead, throw up. I'll eat that right in front of you. And that'll make you number 99. 99. Another double number, Megan. What does that mean to you, 99? I like the double numbers. 
The double numbers are special. That's why you're special. So special. Dana. Now you better shut your fucking mouth. Sir, I said stay in the car. Sir, just stay by the car. Let's see. shoot a second hole into that trunk and I know exactly where you are and no, I know you don't. miss looking for him right now. Don't you care? Don't you care that you just killed a cop? You killed a cop? Yeah. How could that not bother you? That comes with the territory. It's part of his job. He knows what he's getting himself into when he takes that job. And if you hadn't opened your big, fat trap, he still might be alive, so suck on that. Gosh, I'm getting a little thirsty. Would you like a drink? Make it. God. Uh, I like to have some whiskey before I go on a date. I do need a drink. <laughs> but no. No, I don't drink anymore. Why not? Tell me about it. Why don't you drink? Did you drink too much? One fucking day at a time. Don't use that word. <sighs> you know what? So I don't really know what you want me to do. Just keep squirming in the trunk. That's all you're needing to do. Okay, then I'll take a drink. Fine. <laughs> vodka, please. I don't drink vodka. Then I'll have some whiskey. How are you going to give it to me? You have to open the trunk, right? Oh, I'm going to give it to you. 
I'm not ready for you yet. I told you. I have a special place. I'm taking you there. You just offered me a drink, George. I'm I want a drink. A Come drink. on. You're going to get your drink. Can I please have a drink? Perhaps. Just some water. Please. Oh, I'm sure there might be some water in the trunk somewhere. Why don't you search around for it? You might find some other things back there you like, too. <laughs> I don't see anything. Mm. In the wheel well. Oh, see anything, but keep looking, you'll find it. Okay. I feel something. Oh, in a plastic bag? Mm. shape my own destiny. Oh, no one will miss you. I am the maker. No one will remember you. I am the shaper. You're a nobody going nowhere at 90 miles an hour in the trunk of my car. I forge my own fate. You don't have what it takes. I decide my own destiny. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. You're not a survivor. You are not a survivor. I am not gonna die here tonight. Not now. Not like this. <laughs> Your kind is not destined to inherit this earth. No way is this over. I am not quitting me. in high school did you have any friends no no why you were sitting at the loser table every day don't be mean to me what are you gonna do put me in your trunk you think you're funny <laughs> you were a nerd in high school well, that's so funny things have evolved since then haven't they oh really oh yeah much bigger dick now, do you? You're gonna find out. So what happened? Did you go to prom? I went to the prom. Yeah, what'd she look like? She looked like me? Is she blonde? Does she have curly hair? Sort of. What color was her dress? Yellow. Did you wear a tux? But of course, it was prom. We were gonna tank, though. Yeah. Are you a good dancer, too? Oh, really good dancer, Megan. We want to talk about the prom. 
Yeah. What happened on prom night, George? Well, let's just say that uh, I asked one of the most popular girls in school to go to prom. She didn't have another date, so... Well, that's good. Yes, and I was excited. I wasn't very good with girls. I kept tripping over my words and went to pick her up, and her father kept looking at me like, like I was some kind of criminal. He didn't trust me. Like I was gonna violate his perfect little peach of a daughter. Were you? Little did he know she was already a little slut. Little did he know that she'd already fucked and blown half of the football team. But he's looking at me as though I'm the threat. Why don't you take a closer look at your little girl? Why don't you take a closer look? at the seed that you spawned that grew into this beautiful little blonde flower that you think is so perfect. So she wasn't perfect. She was a slut. And you like sluts? No, I did not like sluts. I wanted to go to the prom and have a nice time. I'm not very good with people. She was mean. She wouldn't talk to me. She kept looking around the room, looking to find something else better to do. And then when I slipped away to get her some punch, I turned around and she was gone. I couldn't find her anywhere. That sucks. She ditched you? Ditched? No, I found her. Look who's here. Where'd you find her? I found her. Hi, George. I found her in the bathroom smoking marijuana with some of the boys. They laughed at Your mom just... Porgy, <laughs> What a hit. <sighs> Her, too. She laughed at me. <laughs> I turned around and I walked out. And she followed me out. And she kept saying to me, it's no big deal. We're just goofing off. Come on, don't be so sensitive. It's not that big of a deal. Come on, we'll go. We'll go have some fun. But you didn't want to have that kind of fun, did you? That's it. No more. Bye-bye. Fuck you. I'm not talking to you anymore. Okay, fine. Shut your trap. Fine, no more. George. No more problem. No more problem. No. Fine. I'm not talking to you Shut either, then. You stupid bitch. Go to the bathroom. Number one or number two? I don't want to tell you that. Then we keep on going. <sighs> number one. You got a tinkle? I have to go bad. Go ahead, go. Uh, I'm not gonna pee my pants. Come on, George, please. Go ahead and go. Oh my god. God, you just... Oh. I want to wring out your wet panties and drink your piss. <sighs> Come on, I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm, I'm not just trying to get out. I really have to go. <laughs> no, please, please, let me get out. Please. I'll be good. I won't, I won't run away. I promise you can be cold. I don't think so, Megan. I don't think I'm gonna stop just yet. I'll stop when it's time for me to stop. You see, because there's a time for me to stop. Because when it's time for me to stop, then that will fall into the process. Oh, please! This is so, so mean! Please! I have to go with it. Come on, come on, I'll be good, I won't run away, I promise, you can hold me down, you can tie my arms together, I don't care, I just have to go. Please. Why don't you pee 
your little white panties for me. around me and just hold me that's it I plan on doing that and nothing else <laughs> sorry I enjoy it why do you have to be so mean I don't know you do know what happened to you who was mean to you George was your mom mean to you don't talk to me about that bitch George did you kill your Come mother? It's kill is such an ugly word. She was disciplined. Did you rape your own mother? She was disciplined. Discipline how? Be specific. Use your imagination. Tell me about your father. Be what did your parents do it. to you, George, that you're so messed up? This is wrong. Did they leave you? Did they abandon you? Were Why you an orphan? You? Why should I tell you? Why would I tell you? Who are you to me? You've already lied to me three times. Three lies. That's why your ex-husband beat you. Don't talk about my ex-husband. I'll talk about whatever I want to talk about. I'm in control here. I'm driving. You're in the trunk with pissy pants. Just shut your fucking mouth. We're going to pull out your teeth one by one. What did your parents do Quit to you, George? Quit asking me about my goddamn parents. To hell with my parents. Don't make me stop this car! Don't make me stop this car, you bitch! I never had a father. If 
father left? I never knew him. Left? I don't even know what you're talking about. He left your mother alone? It was my mother and Steve. Who's Steve? Just lock the kid in the closet and get back over to the bed. Did Steve rape you? <laughs> Is that funny? Is rape funny to you? Rape is nothing. Is that what he did to you, George? Is that how you deal with your emotion? You laugh? So that means if you laugh when I say something, I'm right. Okay, so Steve raped you. How was that? drown me out because so you can't hear talk about steve george tell me about steve fuck steve steve found out the hard way you killed steve too steve's feet are stuffed up his ass what did he put up yours you're so stupid you're disgusting no i think i got you right where i want you george oh you're gonna get me right where you want me megan dana Stop it! <laughs> Shut up! But you talk about her! You'll never find her! Where She's is she? safe! Okay, you say so. Found you, didn't I? What if I find somebody of yours? Somebody you love? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not even a, within the feasible probability of anything, you dumb bitch! I think you're getting a little claustrophobic. I think the, the trunk fumes are starting to go to your head. I think you've been in there just a little bit too long. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna feed you your own foot. Fuck you. No, you can fuck me soon enough. Soon enough. I am going to slice your belly open from your navel to your neck. I'm gonna spread open your rib cage and bathe in your gut. Fuck you, George! I'm gonna wrap your hair around your neck and strangle you with it. La, la, la. You stinking bitch. You're gonna die tonight. Fuck you, George! I'll fuck you back. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud. Can, can you, you hear, hear me? me? Can you hear me? Hello, George! I hate your guts. I hate you! I hate you more. Let me to you. How do you know what they did to me? You were just a little boy. Vulnerable. Just looking for love. And Steve took advantage of that. It's okay. I understand. You don't understand I anything. understand being a victim, George. That's what you were. I should have never done that to you. Your mom just stood there and watched. I know that was so hard. I hate her. George, it wasn't your fault. I hate him. It wasn't your fault. I hate everybody. But you made it through, you survived. That's right. Because I've chosen to become prime. 
I can't stop it. The momentum is too much. We're going. We're going. You don't have to be like this. You don't have to live in I'm this sorry. in this fear. You have to be next. It's just the way it has to be. It can't help it. It's already in motion. The George, wheels are in motion. I can't stop the wheels. You were just a little boy. Oh, quit oh. calling me a little boy! Gee, please don't, When this please. happened to you, it was a long time please. ago. Stop talking about it. Mom, please. He should have never don't, made you get in that bed with him. Gee, please don't, please. Bend you over. Don't, don't, please. Pull your pants down and violate you like that. That's wrong, but it wasn't your fault. He should have never put his penis inside you. And I'm sorry that he did that. That didn't happen. It didn't I happen. It's disgusting what you're saying. It's disgusting what you're saying. You just want them to love you. You just don't want them to leave Stop you. Stop talking about it. I understand you. I feel your pain, George, I know. but it was a long time ago. I know you ago. do. That's why you were picked. That's why I chose you. I knew you would understand. I need to become one of you. The only way I can do that is to make you a part of me forever. Just let it go, George. I'm so... <laughs> let it go. It's okay. <laughs> You were crying. I could hear you. Uh, I'm a good faker. Are you? I'm a faker. Just like you're a faker. No, I think I got to you. I bet you're a faker in bed, too. You're gonna find out real soon. I bet you fake it. Except it's not gonna be a bed. I bet you don't even come. I bet you fake it. Oh, I'm gonna come. Did you come when Steve? Penetrated you? I don't know who you're talking about. When he raped you, did you come? Who's Steve? You did. Maybe I'm Steve. Steve raped you, and you came, and now you're ashamed, and now you can't. Oh, well, maybe I'm gonna be Steve, and you're gonna be Georgie. How about that? It's okay, Georgie. Maybe don't I'm gonna have do to. what Steve did to me. Maybe I'm gonna do that to you. You don't have to. Just let it go. Let it go. You're psychoanalyzing me. I'm trying to understand you. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Nobody gives a shit. Don't get angry. Don't get angry, George. Just stop talking. You. Shut your mouth. You don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> ah! listen to you anymore. You got that? I'm not going to listen to you anymore! Oh, you'll listen. You don't have any choice. I've got everything set up perfectly. You don't have a choice. You're gonna listen I got a no new plan, George. What. And it starts with fuck you!
my turn. Let me tell you how this is gonna play. I can't hear you. I just killed your speaker. So now you are just gonna listen to me. Well then make it good. You better make it fucking good. You better make what you say good or you're gonna suffer. I'm gonna talk. And you're gonna listen like the little baby boy that you are. Who's not strong. Who not someone who can control the world. You're gonna see how strong I am. You're gonna see how strong I am real soon. Don't fuck with me. I am going to get out of here and I'm going to kill you. Okay? <laughs> really? I oh, can see that. Oh, oh, I can't hear you, George. I can't hear what you're saying. Ah! Why don't you just laugh? Because I can't hear you. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I can't hear you, George. Why don't you scream louder? Because I can't hear you. <laughs> I got you now. Now what? Now we're going to have a little more fun, aren't we? Are you having fun? You want to have some more fun? I'm going to be rolling around this trunk, trying to get my ass out of here. I might even use my cell phone again. All right. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Somebody can't hear me. Timeout's over. It's time to play with my kid. George, I'm really excited about our date tonight. I can't wait for all the things you have planned for me. I have some plans for you, too. I'm gonna get all pretty for you. Yeah, that's good. You do that. You do that. You get yourself pretty for what I got in store for you. You're gonna be pretty. If you're not pretty now, I'll make you pretty. You stupid little... I'm gonna fix my lipstick. Get my lips nice and red and plump. Soft. You like red? I know you like red, George. Goes really good with my blonde, curly hair. So soft. There's a kiss for you. You can come get a real kiss if you want. You'd like that, right? I know you want me, George. I know you want to touch my face. Touch my skin. Yeah, I like your skin. Mm, I'm gonna enjoy your skin. My Maybe not in the same way you think, though. <laughs> I would 
let your heart tick. Your cock is so hard for me. Mm. I love the taste of cock. And I love yours, George. I bet he's so big. Why don't you come show me how big your cock is? I can get myself rock hard in a matter of seconds. Don't think twice that I can't. I'm an impotent little prick, like some of these others. Oh. Mm. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. 
George. Hello, 99. I've been waiting oh, for you. Oh, I've been waiting for you. I'm ready.